Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this if and then problem. And here's our problem. If 43 power x equal to 20, 21 and 47 power y equals to 20, 21 as well, then we are going to find the value of this rational expression x plus 4xy plus y everything is divided by 2xy minus x minus y. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this part first. 43 power x equal to 20, 21. And here I have just copied it down over here. And now we want to isolate this 43. So therefore I am going to take this power 1 over x on this side and power 1 over x on this side as well. And now we can see on the left hand side we have a two nested exponents. So therefore we are going to apply this power rule. So on the left hand side, this could be written as 43 power x times 1 over x on the left hand side equal to 20, 21 power 1 over x on this side. And now let's focus on this left hand side. I have just copied it down over here let's go ahead and simplify that one and here our exponents is x times 1 over x if we multiply this thing x and 1 over x they cross each other out so we ended up with 43 power 1 and 43 power 1 is same as 43 so that means on this left hand side this could be written as simply 43 equals to 20, 21 power 1 over x. And now let me go ahead and call this equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this 47 power y equals to 20, 21. And here I have just copied down as you can see. And once again I am going to isolate this 47. So therefore I am going to take power 1 over y on this side and power 1 over y on this side as well. And here on the left hand side we got two nested exponents so we are going to apply this power rule. So the left hand side will be written as 47 power y times 1 over y equals to 2021 20, power 1 over y. Now we can see that this y and 1 over y they cross each other out so we ended up with just 1. So the left hand side could be written as 47 power 1 equals to 2021 20, power 1 over y and let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 2. And before we go any further just keep in your mind that x is not equal to 0 and y is not equal to 0 as well. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and multiply these equations 1 and 2. Let's go ahead and multiply the left side first 43 times 47 equal to on the right hand side this is 20 21 power 1 over x times 20 21 power 1 over y and now let's focus on the right hand side of this equation we are going to multiply these two and then we are going to use this product rule under this rule we are going to add their exponents and by the way on the left hand side when we multiply 43 times 47 that is going to give us 20 21 
and the right hand side is going to give us 20 21 power 1 over x plus 1 over y and now on the left hand side 20 21 is same as 20 21 power 1 isn't it and now if we focus on this thing we have the same basis on the left hand side and on the right hand side as well as long as the bases are same on both side we can equate our these exponents as well so that means this exponent equal to this exponent so therefore we can write 1 equal to 1 over x plus 1 over y and here i have just copied down over here let me go ahead and call this as an equation number three and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the value of this fraction now and here i have just copied it down over here and here's the very first thing we are going to do let me just go ahead and divide this the numerator by x y and likewise i am going to divide this denominator by x y as well and now in this next step this top part could be written as in terms of this bracket and likewise the denominator this bottom part could be written as over here inside this bracket and now inside this bracket this fraction could be written as like you can see as the individual fractions and likewise same thing in the denominator as well now let's focus on these fractions inside this brackets this x and x is gone here x y and x y cancel each other out here y and y cancel each other out and likewise in the denominator over here this x y and x y is gone here x and x cancel each other out and here y and cancel each other y as well and here are our fractions in the simplified forms after reducing them and here in this next step i rearrange this one i put one over x over here first and then i put one over y right up here and then plus four and at the denominator i just simply factored out this negative sign so inside this parentheses i got one over x plus one over y now from equation number three we know that one over x plus one over y equal to one so that means this part one over x plus one over y is equal to one we are going to replace it by one and likewise this is going to be replaced by one as well so thus we can write this one as one plus four on the top and divided by 2 minus 1 that is going to give us 5 divided by 1 equal to 5 as our value so thus the value of our this fraction turns out to be 5 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye